The next game, Raiders at the Jets. Uh, this line opened up Raiders minus eight. It's down to seven and a half. Uh, so who do you like here? This is another game that I was hoping the line was going to move for after the uh, the Falcons got or the Falcons crushed the Raiders. Uh, great pick on my part, minus three Raiders there. That uh, <laughs> looks really smart in retrospect. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to be on the Raiders here. I don't know how much I'm going to bet on this game yet because I don't like the number. I want it to get better, but I don't know if it, I doubt it will because it's the Jets. Uh, but the, I, my logic is the Raiders have to play mad. They just got crushed by the Falcons. It was an embarrassment. Um, now they're behind in the playoff race. They're still alive. They're still certainly alive, but they have to play better. And this is their, the most winnable game left on their schedule by uh, by a good margin. Uh, and, you know, they, they were flat against the Falcons, which you called from a mile away. And I did not think that was going to happen. But lo and behold, they were. Um, so I, I think the Raiders are going to have the motivational edge, but I do think that the Jets have some talent. Like they have some really good receiving weapons. I really like what Brashad Perriman, Denzel Mims, and Jamison Crowder are doing. Um, I think if they had a uh, quarterback who was either healthy, confident, or you know talented, uh, they would be in good shape. Uh, <laughs> Sam Darnold checks one of those boxes, and it is the talented part, but he's just not confident or healthy. Um, so kind of takes away his ability. Um, so I, I think that they can keep it close because the Raiders don't have particularly good defense. But at the same time, the Raiders can't look ahead. They can't blow this game. Uh, and I think they know that. So I could see them coming in here and just blowing out the Jets and the Jets being like just folding if they get down like multiple scores. So this game could really go either way. Um, I feel like the Jets have to have one more close competitive game at some point. I don't know when that'll be, uh, but I'm going to be on the Raiders here right now. I'll probably say zero to two units. Um, I'm not super confident in this number. I don't like it uh, being above seven because um, the Jets just get so many key numbers and potential backdoor covers. Um, so I'm a little worried about that, but I, I just think that the Raiders, they, they need this game, so they should hypothetically win this big. Yeah, I, I can see that happening. So I, this is gonna be our first disagreement, but I'm not like uh, I'm, I'm not very confident in this pick. Uh, there are a couple of things uh, that bother me about the Raiders. Like one is that John Gruden just hasn't really figured out how to win in early uh, 1 p.m. Uh, games yet. Um, it seems like every other coach has been able to do that uh, pretty well. Like like every other active coach on the West Coast has a winning record uh, in these games. John Gruden's three and seven against the spread in these early start games. Uh, so he just hasn't done well. Um, not that that means he can't win this game by double digits. Like he certainly can. And I agree with what you said. Uh, like the Raiders are definitely going to play a lot harder this week than they did last week. Um, but I, I think with that, that combined – with the fact that the Jets might be fully healthy uh, on offense for the first time uh, under Darnold, I, I think that you know that, that I think that's important. Um, you know, like people are saying, I, I I don't know who the announcer was, but someone was saying, um, oh, this is the first time Darnold has a fully healthy receiving core this year. They, they were talking about that last week, and I was thinking, like, yeah, but his he, they're missing three offensive linemen, so like, does it really matter? And and they only. They didn't bear, they barely scored against the Dolphins, but it sounds like they might get everyone back. Like Alex Lewis was questionable heading into the game with, which I, I don't understand like why he missed that game because it was a, it was a non-injury and he was limited Friday. And then, um, and then he was out. Like, I, I still don't know what that was. Uh, someone, um, a friend of mine said, uh, he probably got into a bar fight or something, but, um, I, 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 Alex Lewis should be back. Uh, George Fant might be back. If those two guys play, uh, Darnold's going to have his full compliment for the first time all year. So I think I want to pick that. Um, but then again, the Jets defense is just marred with injuries. Like their two top corners are out. The two top linebackers are out. Um, they still haven't recovered from trading Jamal Adams. Um, you know, their defensive line is good, but that that's about it. So, um, I'm going to be on the Jets, but you know, if, if the Jets are still missing several offensive linemen, uh, I'm going to be with you on the Raiders. Yeah, I think that's fair. Part of me wants to bet the Jets at some point, like I said, because I do think that they're going to be, you know, they're going to have a good future once they get a new head coach and probably a new quarterback at this point. I think Darnold needs a change of scenery more than anything else. Um, I do think he still has a chance to become a good starting quarterback, but you know, they're obviously in the probably going to get Trevor Lawrence. So you get him, that offense looks pretty good. And if you can get a good coach, um, preferably of either a young upcoming offensive coach or a veteran coach, like what we see, what we see Ron Rivera doing in Washington this year, 
who can just come in, straighten things out there quick and get them on track. I think this team will be good, uh, but we got to get Gase out first. Well, not so fast. I, I saw a uh, report in the New York Post that said uh, Gase is planning on coaching the, the Jets in 2021. And I saw that. I'm like, on Madden? Like, like when's he going to be coaching the Jets? I, I don't. I don't really don't understand how that how that's going to. I'm happen. also planning on being Miss America, <laughs> but I don't see that happening anytime soon. So, <laughs> you know, that's true. Uh, Karen asks, "What happened to the to her Raiders last week?" Um, I, I, you know, I actually said it on the podcast and then I switched my pick to the Raiders. So don't, don't congratulate <laughs> me for that. Uh, I just, I thought they were going to be very flat uh, at like the chiefs game was their super bowl and, and they lost. And I think I thought they're going to be deflated, but I ended up switching to the Raiders because Julio Jones was out. And I, I thought I was like, how's Atlanta going to score without Julio Jones? And like, even though they had 43 points, they, they actually didn't even score that much. It was just the Raiders giving them free points all afternoon. Uh, there's just a very sloppy game by the Raiders. You think they had, they had won their Super Bowl rather than lost. Like if they had beaten the Chiefs, I'd be like, okay, I can understand why they were so flat. They were just celebrating. Like they lost the Chiefs. Like, yeah, like you can't keep losing. Like just can't do it. 